Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I really appreciate it. Today's video is about step two to healing. And step two, I chose anger to be um, the feeling that you go through. It is also my personal journey, so everyone is different. It might not be your journey, but um, it's definitely for people who are experiencing the same kind of pain. And I think it is very helpful and it's um, it makes a lot of sense to me. So anger um the first step was the first step i don't know what's wrong with me can't talk today the first step was grief pain and uh the importance of going through pain the importance of uh, putting your feelings out there and experiencing it the second step comes right after it or sometimes even in the middle of that uh first step grief or pain it's anger in this stage, you ask yourself a bunch of questions, ask other people a bunch of questions. You wish that somebody would tell you why this happened to you, why this happened to you, why are you the only person who are going through, a uh, person who's going through it, and a bunch of questions. And the truth is that you're not the only person who's going through it. It wasn't supposed to happen, but it did happen. And um, everybody goes through it. Everybody goes through stuff sooner or later or some sort of other it might not be your struggle but it's definitely some of the other struggle everybody is going through it and life is actually it's full of struggles you know and i know it's probably not the very a very positive thing to say but it is true so you just got to remember that anything and everything happens for you it does not happen against you and it's okay and it's going to be okay one day. You're not going to be stuck in this situation forever. If it's not this problem, it's going to be something else. So, you know, it's it's still good. As long as you are breathing, it is good. It is good and it is going to be okay. How you can handle anger, I think it's it's another very important question here. And, uh, and I, I felt the need of actually talking about it. How you can handle your anger is, first of all, you have to release the anger in some sort of form and trust me when i say how important it is it is so important because you don't want to uh, make any bad decisions while you are in that state of mind so i personally think that there are ways to it a lot of people find um exercise very helpful a lot of people find um you know activities indulging in different creative activities it, it channels uh you know that emotion and create something positive out of it i think crying you know as i mean i don't know if it sounds crazy but i think crying helps it really does it releases an emotion you know a strong emotion um you could like you know just be in a place and just find the quietest place and just scream your lungs out you know make sure there's no one over there at that time when you do that and release that pain it has to come out of your body it has to come out of your system that is very 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 important i also feel that um writing it's another very important thing that you could do a lot of times when you start writing a lot of emotion come out of it um, some of my friends are actually currently writing i used to write i don't do that anymore but it is very recommended and when i used to do that when i used to write it it definitely made um a lot of difference i'm not i mean i don't know why but i have like these dry spells of writing so sometimes i write and sometimes i don't so right now i'm not writing but i will i think i should start writing soon and um then I also feel that talking to the right kind of people, you don't want to put your feelings out on social media and tell the world what you're going through in terms of anger, you know, posting like angry stuff or or sad stuff because people are not going to understand that and a lot of times you will get, um, instead of positive, you'll get like a negative feedback out of that. So the right kind of people in your life, I think will help you and help you and, and kind of like make some efforts to understand you and talk to you and probably give you some advice that you really 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 want and sometimes some words of people that you love and care for or they care for you can actually be very helpful in this situation so definitely keep good positive people around you and uh, I would definitely say do not rush the process you don't have to feel that oh my god I have to feel good now today like next month or after that 
do not think that way there is a period it's a process it's not gonna happen overnight like I already said in my earlier video it's gonna happen but it's not gonna just happen on your terms it's gonna happen when the time is right and you are okay that's when it's gonna happen so don't think anything off it if it's not happening any sooner and definitely not rush it and that's really my message to all of you guys and um, all I'm gonna say to you is that if you have any any questions any concerns please uh, share your comments below and uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel because my channel is really almost like brand new because I have done a lot of procrastination on this channel and it's not a good thing but I'm trying to get back there and because I have a lot of um, a lot of ideas for my channel as well so please 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 subscribe to my channel and I love you all Mwah.